This is build an HTML5 two column layout part three. So we ended last time with um, adding some CSS, um, but we wanted to move from um, a unstyled page to something more like this. So we need to add a little bit more CSS to our um, to our project. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the notes um, underneath five. This is what we were working on last time. We ended our last um, video part two um, by adding padding to our content. Um, and if we look at that, um, we wanted to add a little padding so that um, we're style, styling this um, content that's in our left column. So let's continue and we need to add a little bit more styling to the content, the right column, and the footer. So uh, let's go to Dreamweaver and what we want to do here is we want to add a, some styling to the heading of our content. So I'm going to go ahead here and put content h1 and um, I'm going to add a couple different styles. I'm going to add my font size and that's going to be 24 pixels. And I'm also going to add some padding on the top. And that's going to be 25 pixels. Fantastic. And if we click over in the design view we'll see that that um, is now styled, which is great. So um, let's add some styling to our H2 tag. Kind of the same thing, content H2, and I'm going to do something very similar, and then I'm going to add styling for my font size. And in this case, it's going to be 18 pixels. And I'm going to add padding on the top, um, 25 pixels okay and one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of font weight and I'm going to define that at 200 great alright so again you can see in our design view that um, we are able to affect the um, the style and get it to look exactly what we want it, how we want it to look. And then finally the paragraph. So in the content div, I'm going to add some style for my paragraph. And here I want my font size to be 12. And I'm going to add padding on the top, but this time it's going to be um, 15 pixels. And uh, I'm going to add some line height because I want to um, be able to control the space between my lines. So I'm going to define that as 16 pixels. Look at that. It's looking really, really great. So um, the next few things that I need to do are very similar to what I did before. Um, I'm going to be adding some styling to the right-hand side. Let's take a look at our um, where we're at. Fantastic. So what we have left is to style this on the right column, and then we also have a footer. So um, let's go back to our notes and just take a look here. So if we look at our notes, um, and if you look right here, you can see we did, um, sorry, right here, you'll see we did something very, very similar. We have um, created some definition for the right column for the H2 tag, the H3, and the, our paragraph tag. And then for our footer, very similar. Um, we are going to be able to affect our paragraph by using our um, footer P and giving it a font size, color, and some padding, and then also our um, A link because it is hyperlinked. So um, I'm not going to go through these specifically, but that's how you can finish up the page. And once you do that, your page is going to look like this. Fantastic.